Okay, here we go, our final boxing match today. It is the YouTube battle between Masang, Mr. Fight, and Pang Su Muang. This is in the welterweight division. It will be contested over three rounds. Our last YouTuber fight didn't go the distance. It was Nat Baki that ended up knocking out Sing Noi muscle box in the second round with that devastating body shot. Let's see if we get something similar between these two. I mean, one thing about these Mr. Fight guys, they really come to fight. They like to put their opponents away. They are a viral YouTube TikTok sensation, and they're just hitting a million followers so far. We will see. Do those followers compute into boxing? Here we go, folks. Back into the action. Masang, Mr. Fight in the red. Pan Suatmung in the black and gold shots. Right there from Masang. And finally, we've got an orthodox against a southpaw, so it will be a battle of the footwork. What you tend to do against a southpaw or an orthodox is you want to get your lead leg on the outside of your opponent's lead leg before you deliver that backhand. Or if you're going to the body, you want to step in just a little bit more and deliver that backhand as well. So it's a battle of the footwork, and you could see it just then that Pan Suameng had his foot on the outside and delivered that right hand down the middle as well. Yeah, these two are wasting no time to get to know each other. It's been real hammer and tongs since this round started. Let's see if they can keep this pace up for three rounds if it has to go that far. Yeah, very common with the Mr. Fight guys. They start fast and they want to end the night as early as they possibly can. Maybe they've got reservations. Maybe they've got a date to go to. Maybe they want to go see a movie. They try and end these fights as soon as they can. Very explosive start by both of these fighters so far. Already halfway through round number one. Overhand, sorry, right hook there, just missing the mark for Pan. Pan Suamang has some great head movement as well. He's really getting underneath some of these shots, but he's not delivering counters with it just yet. Jab there on the back foot from Masang. Masang slipping away too, but Pan coming in with the left straight. And going to the body, going downstairs with it too, to the body. You notice how Pan is also just flicking out that jab, really trying to find his range. But what he needs to do is he needs to start aiming that jab to the left-hand side of his opponent and then deliver the left hand down the middle. You want to draw your opponent into the shot, so you almost fake them into it. You want them to move into your shot as you deliver it. Great left hands being delivered here by Pan. I mean, I really thought that Marseille started the round strong, but Pan just seems like he's taken over right now with this onslaught of left hands, Jimmy. Masang had a great start and he landed some very vicious shots, but then that's maybe what woke Pan Seng up. Maybe he needed somebody to wake him up to let him know that you're in a fight right now, you really need to do something. A great left hand down the middle by Pan as well. And another left hand slapping as well. So great movements by Pan, but Masang still standing up strong, still in this fight. Okay, we've got the clapper now, so 10 seconds on the clock. But Pan still coming forward, landing that left hand. It's been a money shot for him in this round, and that is the end of the first round. We'll get the replays first, and then we'll take you into round two. So this is the second fight of the YouTuber boxing battle, and here we go with some action replays. Both fighters evading punches very well. A big left hand just misses a target for Pan, and very often in the first round, especially with a southpaw against an orthodox, they tend to smother each other's punches because they're still trying to find their footing, they're still trying to find their range. But what I'd like to see, and this can happen for both sides, when you're throwing that jab, you need to flick the jab to the same side that you want them to move their head. So for example, if you're an orthodox, you're flicking the jab so they can move their head onto your right hand. You want them to move onto the right hand and vice versa of the southpaw, you want them to move onto your left hand. So even if your punch doesn't land, it's still an effective method. A punch doesn't need to land to be effective and that's what we're seeing right now. Two fighters really trying to work each other out, but you can see in Pan Suamang, he's got an absolute legendary boxer in his corner, one of the best Thai, sorry, the best Western boxers in Thailand.
Okay, here we go, round two underway. I mean, for me, I really thought that Marseille started the the last round very well, and then Pan just took over. It's kind of like cold water. It needs to wake you up, and then once you realize you're in a fight, you start going, and there's a beautifully timed left hand from Pan, and Pan just went down the middle and put his opponent down. Bit of a flash knockdown. I don't think Maseng is absolutely hurt there, but look at the shorts on how high they are on Maseng. So he looks like he's definitely a little bit scared of the body shots coming in. I mean, Maseng just ate that shot and it definitely dropped him down to the canvas. And Pan coming in again with these left hands. Maseng on wobbly legs, Pan trying to go in for the kill, but getting tied up in the clinch, landing the right hook in the clinch. Maseng does a great job to survive in that situation. He wrapped his opponent up like an octopus and survived that round as well as he could. But Pan is now on the hunt, and it looks like Pan is really going in for the kill with that left hand. A nice right uppercut as well. Overhand left there from Pan. Pan swinging and missing. Maseng with some great head movement, sits down on the ropes, gets away from those shots, but is it enough? He's already been down in this round, and there's only three rounds. Maseng really needs to turn it up now. He needs to give Pan something to worry about, otherwise Pan is going to bully him in the fight. And another great left hand. I'm not sure how many the ref is going to allow Maseng to take of these. The referee has stepped in and waved it off. A three-piece combination has put the Seng on the canvas, and that is all she wrote for, for this YouTuber battle. And they may be enemies outside of the ring on social media, but they have come together in the ring. And what a fantastic shot to end that fight. Pan Suamung. Let's see some action replays. Yeah, I mean, Pan Suamung just went in for the kill. Great starts to the round, finding that left hand. I mean, it's so difficult to fight a southpaw fighter, especially in your probably one of your first ever fights. And Pan just had to do one simple thing, and that left quarter straight. To the bout we'll go to Peter Devon for the official decision. And your winner by way of TKO in the second round, Pan Samuang fighting out the blue corner.